Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Unit 6. In the previous unit, we created the ground floor without bothering with the individual component heights. Even so, the components were automatically created with the correct story height. This is because of the All Plan Plane model. In All Plan, a component is usually created with a height calculated in relation to an intelligent plane model. The plane model offers many advantages. It makes drafting easier. And if height specifications change during the design process, all you need to do is change the plane model and All Plan will automatically adjust all the components in the stories concerned. Let's have a look at the intelligent plane model in All Plan. Click Open on a project-specific basis and deselect the ground floor of the last unit. Open Unit 6 and the Structural Levels, Detached House and Ground Floor below it. Select Ground Floor. Then activate Drawing File 651. Now look here on the right. As you can see here, the structural level for the ground floor has already been assigned two heights for the top and bottom levels. When you point the cursor at these values, all plan indicates that they have been taken from the plane model of detached house and that they are named bottom level of ground floor and top level of ground floor. Let's take a closer look at the detached house plane model. Open the plane manager. Since we don't want to make any changes right now, click No. As you can see, the plane model already defines all the heights for the stories in our house. For each story, you will find a pair of planes with the heights for the bottom level and top level. You can now easily adjust the story heights here. For example, enter 3200 up here. The planes above the story would then be moved up. Since we're just looking and don't want to change anything, close the two dialog boxes by clicking Cancel. When a plane model has been assigned, you can use height settings to design components. Let's close the building structure and look directly at the height specifications of a window. Right-click this window and choose Properties from the shortcut menu. Here you can check the height of the window. In this case, the bottom level of the window is set at a distance of 1350 from the lower plane of the plane model. For the top level of the window, a fixed component height of 1,400 was specified. This means that the lintel is 1,400 millimeters above the window sill, and the window sill is 1,350 millimeters above the unfinished floor, regardless of the height at which the unfinished floor is located. So in this case, the upper plane of the story does not influence the height specification of the window. Of course, you can also enter absolute height values any time to define the window height independently of the plane model. Click Cancel twice to close the dialog boxes without making any changes. A plane model is easy to use and clearly defines the height of the stories. However, it always defines only one pair of planes per drawing file at first. But architecture is often a lot more complex than this. There are height offsets, multi-story spaces and inclined roofs. That's why All Plan offers you the possibility to use multiple plane models in one project. In addition, the custom planes and roof planes give you a great flexibility to create custom designs. Let me show you an example. Say you want to lower the bottom level of the house's living room by 500 millimeters in the south. 
The top level should remain unchanged, however. To achieve this, open the Wizards palette and select the Quick Start, Planes and Sections Wizard under All Plan, Quick Start. This plane pair is defined by a polyline and comprises a lower plane that is 500 mm lower than the corresponding plane of the plane model. The upper plane has not been changed in this case. You can now copy it from the wizard and paste it in the workspace. As you can see, the floor that is in the range of influence of the plane pair has now been lowered. But the position in the floor plan is not correct yet. Right-click to open the shortcut menu of the plane pair, select Move, and simply move the range of influence of the plane pair in the correct place. Now it's right. In the animation window, you can clearly see how the components adjust to the local plane definition. See how the top level of the components in the range of the plane pair has remained unchanged, exactly as we wanted it. Height definitions in all plan are very flexible. You can even design buildings with complex height offsets in just a few steps. This brings us to the end of this unit. In the next unit, we'll assemble layouts in all plan and export them to PDF.